tazama na sport tuelekee viwanjani kama kawaida wengi wananiita Karanja Dema kipenda KD this must indeed alibuka mshindi wa makale mwaka kuu ya msuru wa gofu wa safari tour yaliyokamilika leo katika uwanja wa gofu wa Karen wakati wa hoda wa soka huko nchini wametoa wito kwa wizara michezo kuingilia kati na kufisha kwa uchaguzi wa shirikisho la soka huko nchini FKF umeandaliwa kwa njia inayostahili Indiza alibuka mshindi kwa alama 270 huku akiwa piku Ronald Rugumayo na Greg Snow waliwandikisha alama 276 na alama 277 mtawalia Mutahi Kibugu alimaliza wa nne huku Samuel Njoroge akimaliza wa tano baada ya mashindano hayo wa Kenya wanane watawakilisha Kenya katika mashindano ya gofu ya majiko Kenya Open I think Kenya Open this time We'll never talk about we are, we are teaching the juniors to come to win Kenya Open. Now uh, Mr. Kibugu they are here, they, you must support them. Jeroge, young guys are here. You must support them, but don't talk about young guys, they will come to win Kenya Open. 2030, Division 2030, you can't. It's been good. I mean, we've had quite a number of players who have come from abroad as well. Uh, but in terms of that, you can tell by the scoring. Scoring has been very low the last couple of events. I'm sure those guys are ready for the Open, I think. And in terms of that, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm just looking forward to a couple of days off uh, and then get back to practicing for ready for the Open. Wakati huo huo, wadau wa soka umunchini wametuwa wito kwa wizara ya mechezo kuingili ya kati na kuakikisha kuo uchaguzi wa shirikisho la soka umunchini FKF humeandaliwa kwa nchini ya ustaili. It needs to be a free and fair and transparent election according to the constitution and the laws of the Republic of Kenya. There are no two ways about it. We are demanding for an independent institution, the IBC. What do how alitaja kuwa iwapo chaguzi utaandaliwa kwa njia mwafaka basi mchezo wa soka utaimarika huko nchini.